for automaticity. It means SNO itself has have a power to produce electrical impulse itself, and this is why this is called the cheap primary pacemaker. The term of pacemaker means the SNO is initiator us or SNO automatically. Without of any external stimulation, the SNO is produce electrical impulse and lead to arterial depolarization and then go to lead to depolarization of the AV node. AV node is also having a special specialization. What was the speciality of the AV node? They are slowing. They are slowing the, they are slowing the, they are slowing the conduction of the electrical impulse which is coming from the S node and lead to the arterial and then coming to the AV node. Why they lead to the delay of the electrical impulse? It is very important. It is a physiological delay and it is very useful for the heart because during this delay, hmm, during this delay, we take a time duration of the 1.1 second. During this period, this both atrium huh, contract it or squeeze it, their blood into the ventricle to fill the ventricle. This is why the AV nodal is very important to slow down the electrical impulse, to fill the ventricles. Now, to, for the formation of the PR interval, as I mentioned before, first is anode is produce electrical impulse, then arterial uh, depolarize, uh, the arterial depolarization in the ECG, and the arterial depolarization in the CG is shown by P wave. P wave. Uh -huh. Is shown by P wave. Is shown by P wave. So this arterial depolarization is representing this P wave. Huh? This arterial this part of the atrium which is depolarized or which is activated or which is contracted or which are beating or which are producing any response to the isenodal cheek depolarization in the ECG, it was shown by P wave. Arterial depolarization wave in the ECG is shown by P wave. After the P is completed their depolarization and the depolarization of the P wave is taking how, how much time duration? It is also taking 0.1 second. When the electrical impulse is reaching to the AV node, this electrical impulse is delayed in the AV node for how much time duration? 1.1 second. So, when the electrical impulse is generated in the SA node and lead to depolarization of the AV node and then passing and lead to depolarization of the AV node and then it wants to passing from the AV node and lead to depolarization of the ventricle, <coughs> this time of duration is called PR, PR interval. interval. Anyway, how should I define the PR interval? <laughs> PR interval is a start from the beginning of the P wave to the QRS complex. Huh? to the beginning of the QRS complex. This was the formation of the PR interval <coughs> that we should know more better the concept of the AV nodal block. When we talked about AV nodal block, in the ECG we should talk about the what type of duration? The PR interval. Huh? Now, this was the formation of the PR interval. PR interval is a time duration which is a start from the a, a, a beginning of the PV to the beginning of the QRS complex and it takes uh, and it takes uh, 0 0.2 second because uh, P is equal to uh, the P wave totally this 0 0.2 second is equal to one large square and one large square itself is made of uh -huh, five small square so 0.2 second is equal to five huh, small squares and one Lost. one small square is equal to 0 0.04 seconds uh, mm -hmm. so that the upper limit of time duration of the PR interval is equal to one large square mm -hmm. which is equal to 0 0.2 seconds or which is equal to five small square or when we change it because in the ECG it is very important to use the term of millisecond rather than we will talk about the second. So when <coughs> we change it, this point two second to millisecond, it, it becoming equal to 200 millisecond. So now we understood the formation of the PR interval. 
and the time duration for the formation of the PR interval is taking 0.2 second which is equal to one large square or five small square <coughs> or totally it's and uh, it takes 200 milliseconds this was about the formation of the PR interval now as I mentioned before and I am discussing to you about the wave what does it mean wave hmm? what does it mean wave and what does it mean segments and interval interval is a time duration which include of wave plus segment wave plus segment some of the wave plus segment is called interval for example there you will see here is one wave which is called p wave and plus this segment huh? p plus segment is called interval p plus segment is called <coughs> intervals huh? but what does it mean segment no segment is an isolated line or is a straight line is a natural line which does not have wave huh? now this from the end of the p wave from the end of the p wave to the beginning of the qrs complex this is called segment and this segment does not have uh, wave does not have wave wave what does it mean wave itself wave is produced hmm? due to needle deflection when the needle is deflected they made on the ecg paper a pattern in which the needle of the ecg go up and down this is called the wave wave of a eh? wave is produced due to the needle deflection when the needle is deflected on the ecg paper they produce huh? Huh? wave huh? now this is a definition which is related to the wave and related to the segment so pr interval is beginning or are or, or, or compressing from two parts one is arterial depolarization for us a venodal depolarization arterial depolarization in the ecg is signifying by the p wave is uh, a venodal depolarization is signifying or is representing by uh, by 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 pr segment arterial depolarization in the ecg is showing by what by p wave huh? A venodal depolarization in the in the ECG is showing by P PR segment. PR segment. Arterial depolarization plus PR segment is called PR interval. So in the case of a v, in the case of a venodal block, the PR interval is very important. Now again we are coming to our uh, topic which was a venodal block. A venodal block are divided. Huh? A venodal block are divided into three major <coughs> categories. A V nodal block. Again, a definition of the block or a definition of the A V nodal block. Hmm? Interference of the process of the formation of the electrical impulse along the conduction system is called block. Sometimes when you see a hard block, immediately you should you should think that the most of these people are talking about the A V nodal block. So the term of A V nodal block, hard block or junctional block gave the same idea gave the same, same idea which is representative of a v nodal block, block. Uh, now a v nodal block it is good uh, a v nodal block so a v nodal block according to its severity are divided into three. how three. much how three. many three. degrees three, three, three degrees, degrees. Uh, this degree is related to the severity of the block ah uh, one is first, first degree, degree good First degree, a v-nodal block. First degree, a v-nodal block. Another, second degree. Second degree, a v-nodal block. The second degree, a v-nodal block itself huh? uh, divided huh? into Three variant mode. Hmm? First, huh? second degree, a v nodal block type one. Very nice. Type one. R B C R L A. Mobit. Mobit. One. R Venki back. W E N C K Venki back. B A C H R Venki back. Another variant, second degree, a v nodal block, type 2, or mobit 2, 
periodic or constant yeah. two. Mm -hmm. And the last one, or the last variant, variant which is very important, second is the second degree, degree heavy nodal block two two, 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 one. And the last type of the block which is related to a V nodal block complete is heart complete block. heart block, which is having poor prognostic uh, or which is having a poor prognosis. The last one is uh, third degree AV nodal block or or complete complete heart block. This was classification of the AV nodal block. I think every one of you catch it, or every one of now you know the heavy nodal block. Now we will explaining one by one every of these type of the heavy nodal block. First I am explaining to you heavy <laughs> nodal block. Heavy huh? nodal block, first degree heavy nodal block. First degree heavy nodal block. How should I define the first degree heavy nodal block? Again, as normally we know the electrical impulse is generated in the SA node. Mm -hmm. huh? And then lead to depolarization of the atrium. And then it conducted to the heavy mm -hmm. node. And lead to depolarization of the AV node. If this electrical impulse huh, huh, along the conduction system huh, develops some delay huh, along the, this conduction system, this is lead to prolongation of the PR interval, which is called first degree AV node alpha. Or in another way, the electrical impulse which is generated, huh, they may show delay somewhere along the conduction system. Huh, which lead to formation of the prolongation of the PR interval, which is called first degree AV nodal block. First degree AV nodal block, characteristic feature of G, first degree AV nodal block. We saw that it will be arterial impulse conducted to the wind to the ventricles, but take longer than the normal getting there. The PR interval is fixed. So is the in all of the so much as the first degree of nodal block is a block which is characteristic feature of which is the prolongation of the PR interval. This is why I'm giving some explanation to you to should know the exact concept of the first degree of nodal block. First degree of nodal block is a block which is the ECG feature. ECG, see, ECG features, ECG feature, ECG features. Ah, the indication. Prolongation of the PR interval B for each bit is constant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Constant. Mm -hmm. The normal PR interval is how much time duration? Mm -hmm. 200. 200 milliseconds. Mm -hmm. But it may be more than 200. For example, it may reach up to 300. Mm -hmm. This 300 should be constantly B for each QRS complex is coming. Mm -hmm. So, constant. One is constant. Prolongation of Prolongation of P R interval. Constant prolongation of the P R interval. Every P wave, every P wave followed by Q R S complex. What is the significance of the AV nodal block from the standpoint of the clinic? Is there AV nodal block is clinically important? Hmm? No. Now, no. clinically, clinically, first degree AV nodal block, it is, it is no. not very important itself. But this is a sign of, or sometimes it may indicate, uh, a sign of severe dangerous uh, diseases. For example, if you see the first degree AV nodal block, those patients might be have infarction, or they might have uh, well, rheumatic, fever, rheumatic fever, drugs, or <coughs> electrolyte imbalance. <coughs> this is why the any nodal block itself is not very important, but it may indicate a sign of some very dangerous diseases because uh, they may not produce symptom and sign itself. The symptom and sign, uh, the symptom and sign of the uh, heart block is vertigo, <coughs> chest pain, dizziness, <coughs> palpitation. First degree AV nodal block cannot produce these symptoms. symptoms. This is why it is not important. But when we will see in the ECG the first degree AV nodal block, we will we'll think about the other specific diseases such as uh, inversion, rheumatic fever, and the drugs, particularly digoxin and electrolyte imbalance. First degree AV nodal block, 
But I'll call mm -hmm. that is good. Mm -hmm. Now I think it indicates for me that you know more about the block. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned before, for how should I distinguish first degree say nodal block with first degree? I do mm -hmm. nodal block. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the first degree say nodal block, the ECG does not mm -hmm. show any abnormalities. Mm -hmm. This is why the ECG does not show any abnormalities because there yeah. is no any drop. Bit. Drop bit, just drop slowness bit. of the electrical impulse which is generated. Huh? In the SA node, and when they transmit it to the yeah. atrium, yeah. they take long time. Yes. And when electrophysiologically the SA nodal block reveals a slowness of the electrical impulse of the senoatrial conduction, yes. ah. in the heavy nodal block, you are talking about about the PR interval. Yeah. Ah. But in the SA nodal block, you are talking about the bit. You are talking about the entire bit. In the SA nodal block, just the electrical impulse which is generated is a node, is a node. when they come into the atrium they produce any problem so they may not lead to the depolarization of the atrium when the atrium is not depolarized this does not then um, passing to the heavy node to depolarize the ventricle so one bit in patient when the SA nodal block is is dropped but then the pure interval the P is produced the P is produced but the P is having a problem to passing from the a V node and lead to subsequent ventricular uh, contraction. This is a difference between the SA nodal block and the A V nodal block. In the SA nodal block, the P is having a problem. The P may not be produced, huh? but the in A V nodal block, the P is produced, but the problem may be uh, in the QRS complex in the ventricle. This was a difference between the SA nodal block and A V nodal block. In the A V nodal block, you should focus more on formation of the PR interval. And the, in the in a sonodal block, you should more focus on formation of the atrium. Formation of the atrium does not occur in patient with the SA nodal block. This was about the first degree AV nodal block. First degree AV nodal block, they may not produce any symptoms. There is no any specific treatment is required, but just the underlying cause which leads to prolongation of the PR interval that I mentioned before infarction, rheumatic fever, drugs, particularly the joxins, and electrolyte imbalance. You should search or you should look for to find the cause of PR interval. Then we will take for the patient. Huh? We, we, we will send the patient for more investigation to this patient is having infarction or not. Whether this patient is having infarction or not, we will check the electrolyte. And finally, we will we'll think yeah, about fever, the fever. acute rheumatic yeah, fever. Yeah. This was the first degree of nodal block yeah. and clinic ECG pathogenesis and finally treatment now second degree av nodal block second degree av nodal block how should i define how should i define first the second degree av block we should give a definition for the second degree block and then we are coming to three variant of the second degree av nodal block second degree av nodal block in patient with second degree av nodal block the depolarization wave uh, or excitation wave or atrial beat or atrial depolarization uh, fail to pass from the AV node uh, fail to pass from the AV node when the atrial uh, is failed to pass from the AV <coughs> node after the P wave the QRS complex does not produce uh, this is a general definition for the second degree AV nodal block. Second degree AV nodal block is a type of block in which the, the excitation wave, depolarization wave, or excitation atrial depolarization wave, or atrial depolarization wave, or atrial beat fail, huh? fail, fail to pass from AV node. Huh? So it means the atrial contraction is completed. Mm -hmm. Atrial is contracted, mm -hmm. but when the atrial is trying to passing from the AV node, they are facing to a problem. So in the second degree AV nodal block, mm -hmm. some of the atrial impulse can be conducted to the ventricle, some of them is not conducted to the ventricle, ventricle. so that you will see the P wave which was not followed by QRS complex. This is a general definition for the second degree AV mm -hmm. nodal block. Now we will give definition of the or every mm -hmm. specific type of the second degree mm -hmm. AV nodal block. First, we are talking about the uh, first mm -hmm. degree mm -hmm. AV nodal block, type 1, one Mubitz 1, or Venkibar. In this case, uh, 
and the win key back w e n c k b a c win key b a c win key back win key back and win key back there is uh huh tell me there is progressive, progressive. the term progressive the term progressive. progressive the term progressive and win key back should not be forget there is progressive PR. lengthening of the pr interval mm -hmm. there is progressive lengthening of the pr interval finally one p is dropped yes. or it means one p does not have mm -hmm. a qrs complex mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. but the next beat is having a short pr interval yes. but subsequent beat again start prolongation of the pr interval huh? progressively and again one beat is dropped when this phenomenon is repeated, huh? repeated, this is called huh? when kibak or mobits one or type one, or in a simple words, mobits one is a progressive periodic lengthening of the PR interval. Finally, one P is not followed by a QRS complex. This was a definition of that. This is a B9 case. It has no any specific treatment. This was a B9 case. It does not have any specific treatment. This was Mubitz, huh? yeah. this was Mubitz one or Winky back. Mubitz, Mubitz one or Winky back. Uh, progressive lengthening of the PR interval. I give you an example of that. First, first degree, first degree again you don't block. I think just this is a constant chill. PR interval. Oh, anyway, this is first degree hmm? because the normal PR interval is how much? 200 milliseconds. 200 G milliseconds. But this is not indicate 200 milliseconds. Huh? It is, for example, it would be mm -hmm. 300. 300. 300. 300. 300. Yes. 300. And 300 milliseconds. So first degree, I mean, about. Constant prolongation of the PR interval, every P wave is followed by the QRS complex. Now, second degree AV nodal block, Mubitz 1 or when given. Progressive prolongation of the huh? PR interval. <coughs> Uh -huh. on the aggressive maybe periodic huh? periodic lengthening of the pr interval finally one p does not followed by qrs complex huh this is one bit they start prolongation they start it is it is longer than the in the first bit and finally the last one it is becoming too long this p does not followed by qrs complex so again this is the first pqrst again prolongation again prolongation finally one p is not dropped mm -hmm. this is why a periodic the term of periodic you know now in this this is how much beaters for example two or three huh? the age on chest three the age on chest three mm -hmm. it means it should be repeated 
repeated every two beat one or every three beat huh? one bit prolongation of the pure interval pure interval one bit is dropped does not have any qrs complex and again one bit two bit three bit huh? again uh, one bit does not if this cycle is repeated this is called mubits type one mubits one type one mubits one or win keeper so that it will second degree ev block or mobis type 1 or wind giver mm -hmm. uh, some arterial impulse conducted to the, the ventricle but some uh, some of them is not conducted uh, finally one pvp is not uh, followed by qrs complex and one you will give a general definition for the block to general definition for block meeting as i mentioned before when somebody asks you uh, a simple question, tell me the definition of the second degree AV nodal block. You simply say, hmm? they say some of the electrical impulse is conducted, some of them is not conducted. But then refer to another question, please classify for me second degree AV nodal block. Tell me the type 1. Type 1 movies one will keep a progressive, progressive and periodic sharp. Progressive and periodic, huh? <laughs> progressive and periodic lengthening of the pure interval. Finally, one P does not followed by a QRS, QRS complex. complex. The next, the next beat is having a short mm -hmm. pure interval, but the subsequent beat again start progressive lengthening of the pure interval, and they again repeated this, mm -hmm. this cycle. This is called G Venkiva. Progressive periodic lengthening. Progressive periodic lengthening. Huh? You will give a general definition when somebody refers to this. Just tell me. Hmm? A, a definition of the second degree AV nodal block. Second degree AV nodal block is a block, some of the arterial which is conducted, some of them is not conducted. Huh? Mm -hmm. But when you focus more about the different variant, mm -hmm. you should specify mm -hmm. uh, about the prolongation of the PR, PR, PR interval. Mm -hmm. So this was about the first, the, the, the Mubitz one. This is a B9 case. If somebody asks you, tell me the, tre the treatment of the patient who is having the Mubi type one. You will say this is a benign case. There is no specific treatment is needed. There is no any treatment action is also needed. So in some book has been mentioned if a mubi one or wind keeper, they will produce symptom. Symptom of the heart block. I mean, uh, symptom of the heart block. So what are the symptoms the symptom of the chest pain, palpitation, heart block? If these type of problem, when you are any block has produced these symptoms, they require treatment. Otherwise, they are no, they, these patients does not need any treatment. Mm -hmm. So when the, the movies one is a benign case. Yes. Mm -hmm. No specific treatment is required for periodic lengthening of the PR interval. Finally, one P is dropped. Next PR interval is short. Again, PR interval is started. Again, progressive lengthening PR interval mm -hmm. is uh, one bit is dropped again. The cycle is repeated. This is called yeah? mm -hmm. movies mm -hmm. one. Now the second degree AV nodal block. Now give me Sanaola, the second degree AV nodal block uh, concept. How should I define and how should I pattern the ECG pattern of the second degree AV nodal block? Movies movies two movies two. Who is telling me? Who can tell me the definition of that? Now, how should give a nice definition? How should second degree AV nodal block move it? Move it to or move it to or type two? In this case, most of the beats, in this case, most of the beat, which beat, arterial beat, and most of the beats are having constant PR interval. Most of the beats are having constant most of the beats are having constant PR interval. But occasionally, arterial beat is dropped, and they may not have subsequent ventricular beat. ECG pattern, huh? PR interval is constant, occasional beat is dropped, and they do not follow by QRS complex. This is a characteristic feature of the type 2 or movies huh? 2 and the ECG pattern. And the ECG pattern is PR interval is cheap. What does it mean constant? Fixed. How much the time duration of the period? Uh -huh. This is also 200 milliseconds, 0.2 seconds, 
one large square or one okay. four, five small square. You should memorize different things to learn more. So this 200 millisecond is equal to one large square. One large square is equal to pi two second. Pi two second is equal to 200 millisecond. All of them is equal to five small squares. So this is also 200. This is also 200 millisecond, 200 millisecond. But just now, there is, uh -huh, now, now immediately, uh, now immediately, now immediately, there should be a P followed by QRS complex, but mm -hmm. not at all. Uh -huh. There should a P. What's wrong with this, with this pause? With this pause? What was wrong with this one yeah. If there is no, if you forget the P, if you forget the P, you will make it confused with a say nodal block. Because in case of a V nodal block, the P is present. In the case of a V nodal, the P is present, but the P wave is not having QRS complex. But the SA nodal block, there is no P, there is no QRS complex. One entire bit is, uh, one entire bit is missed or dropped. There is half bit is drop. There should be P was present. There should be P was present, but this P does not have QRS complex. But if there is same arterial block, how should there? Uh -huh. If there should, in this place, we expected two P is occurring. Huh? But in this time, the P does not occur. In this place, the P does not occur. If the P does not occur, if the P is that there is this A node, there is A V node. When there is this A node, depolarization does not occur. After the S A node, what, what part of that? My God, atria. When there is no, when the S A node does not work, atria may also not work. After that, if there is not any function or any working of the atria, uh, function which is representing the P wave. The P wave is not produced. This P wave does not cross the AV node. So one beat. Huh? Arterial and QRS complex here is draw. But the next beat, huh? it's coming in expected place and expected time. <coughs> now I think, could you catch it? Uh, yes. Uh, this, is, this is a time that I make it a differential diagnosis between the SA node and AV nodal block. SA node and AV nodal block. In AV nodal block, there is a P is present, but the problem in QRS complex. The QRS complex does not precede the P wave. And the case of SA nodal block, there is no P wave, there is no QRS complex. One entire bit is present. There is a pause present, which is taking a long time. This was a difference between the SA nodal block and AV nodal block. Now, Mubitz, AV nodal block, Movies type two. type two is there is most of the bit most of the bits zero to shaky one three four five most of the bits huh, are having constant pure interval but occasional bit is dropped and does not having any QRS complex or most of the P wave have no any subsequent ventricular huh, contraction or there is most of the atrial bit is having a constant bit but one of the atrial bit does not have any QRS complex. This was the second degree AV nodal block. Move it. One. Huh? Two. 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 Move it. Two. Move it. Two. Uh, Win key back is one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Another variant of this. Yeah. 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 It yeah. is yeah. a special yeah. variant. Yeah. In the special variant, there will be alternate yeah. and uh, co alternate conducting and non alternate conducting. Yesterday I discussed you nicely. Huh? In one bit there conduct. may be. Yeah. Alternate, there may be alternate conducting and not alternate conducting of the RTL bit is called to a special variant. Now in the example we'll see. For example, there is two or three PV was present. For example, okay. two RTL bit is occurring. Two RTL bit is occurring. Out of these two, one is conducted and one of them is not conducted. This is called two to one. Two one. Or in another word, there is three RTL bit is present. Huh? One, three RTL bit. But among of these arterial bits, just out of three, one is conducted. Huh? Yes. This, is also so one. One. this is also a special two variant. Two. Huh? This is also a special variant. This variant of the second degree AV noodle is very important. Why it is very important? It is produced a dangerous sign. 
because it gave for us information that this patient who is having this type of block, finally they may go to a complete block. So when you will face to 2 to 1 and 3 to 1, you should more care about that and you should do something to make a diagnose or you refer this patient to cardiology. Cardio this was about the 2 to 1. Now we will see in this example. Uh, good term is alternate conducting and knock conducting. Alternate the shartas. Kioni yakish meko ne yakish ne. Aga bozi na matu se toshit. For example, there is how many bit you will see here is how many atrial bit you will see? Two. two. Out of two, one of them is conducted. Huh? As I mentioned before, we will use for this type of the block. Two, two, one. One, one. one is conducted, one is not conducted. Two atrial bit we will see, and one the cure is complex. Yeah. Instead, there is two cure is complex, just you will see two atrial bit, one cure is complex. This is called two to one, two to one, two to one, two to one. Alternators. Yakish kada, yakish ne. But in another word, if there is. Huh? Uh-huh. Yom alternating mission. She mission? Alternate. The she alternate mission, the seta. And then one, two, three. There is three atrial bit is present. We should have uh, we should have two, 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 we should have three QRS complex. But instead of three QRS complex, we will see just there is one. This is one, two, three. Through three to one. Three to one. three to one. three to one. See atrial bit is yeah, okay. In a the just said. And, I'll, and uh, as I mentioned before, arterial flutter and arterial fibrillation we also show in this type of the block. Mm -hmm. But the number of the arterial bit is much more. There is not huh? 2 to 1 or 3 to 1. Four they to one. do, uh, but most care about 2 to 1 is BCRTS, Mohemas, because they may lead to complete heart block. This is why when you will face to this 2 to 1, you should refer this patient to cardiologist. And we, another. The no, last type of the ah, pain will no, 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 I think no, it is easy. No now conduction. you can tell me. There is no conduction electrical impact. Uh -huh. Complete. complete. There is no heart. relation between atrium and mitral. Very nice. A nice definition. There is no conduction <laughs> between the atrium and ventricle. If there is no conduction, uh, atrium is uh, contracting their own rhythm and ventricle is contracting their own rhythm. Atrial rate is constant because it is stimulated by the natural pacemaker. Uh, because the atrial still is having their natural pacemaker or I say nodal pacemaker. So the atrial rate may reach up to 72 bit per minute, but the ventricle should have a new pacemaker for itself. This new pacemaker may originate from two portion. One, it may originate from ventricular myocardial cells, huh? or may it originate from the conduction, which is supplied the ventricle, for example, from right bundle or from left bundle. If the ventricle, if the elliptical impulse is generated from the ventricle, they lead to white QRS complex. Uh, or if it may originate from the conduction, they may have narrow complex. narrow complex. So this is the one. So finally, RTL is having their own datum, ventricle is having their own datum. There is totally an active ventricular dissociation is present in third degree mm -hmm. AV nodal block. And when we will see this patient is activated by a slow rhythm. Hmm? Particularly, that the atrium does not activated by the slow rhythm. They are activated by the uh, SA node, but the ventricle, hmm, the ventricle is activated by slow rhythm. And another thing which is very important during the second, third degree AV nodal block, if AV nodal block occurs, in some cases, this AV nodal block, particularly complete heart block, may not appear immediately after the some events, because you will not find it there criteria for the, for the complete heart block in some cases, particularly in infarction and initially or when the MI is the recent Bosha or fresh Bosha or with a short history Bosha, some of these patients may not uh, show ECG change because mega, this 12 feet, the QRS complex carrier mega number is kamasta, shumo namitanin kira paida konin because you'll take a long lead. Or if you do not have this experience, you should look at the 
PR interval. See, look at the PR interval. So complete heart block is also having two types of presentation, acute and chronic. Acute presentation may occur in the course of the acute MI, but it is transit and it may reverse it. But in chronic in complete heart block, may occur in those people who is having fibrosis of fibrosis of Hayes bundle. Sometimes block of the right bundle branch block and left bundle branch block, both bundle branch block may also lead to complete, complete uh, heart block. Do you know the mechanism? Yeah. Right arm bundles, left arm bundles, complete heart block. How should I draw the ECG pattern of the complete heart block? Huh? Thing which is very important in this type, the atrial rate by Chibosha constant. In a fossilla catezi fossilla sabbat, picatezi chia sabbat, in a picatezi chia sabbat, in a picatezi tariban yak duration of the stabosha. Chida stabosha yak duration. Uh-huh. Caritas and more curious complex duration. I the boss yala chiesta, mutapa, and fart nekola. You need atrial data that is there to be in Kichibosha. So better. Avoid cures. Now, I know you cure as complex as by either can version by either can. By either can version. Yes, to German Shagrifter as ventricle. Again, either can version as bundle branch. Peace may carriage the Uja or his. Coatial rates are with us. I'm a baby pure intervalation on cheers. Mortaler. Is it the Ija mother? Is it the Ija mother? As a criteria is. Criteria is yes, arterial rate is constant. Ventricular rate is not constant. The arterial rate is shamele chakame basha. Arterial rate is at least is related to the firing frequency of the ACA node. And the ventricular rate in case of complete heart block is becoming less than 40. Ventricular rate less than 40 or even 30. <laughs> But Chan Mirasa, but Bassi or Chair, see we say a unit chair. This was about the Kaeli nodal bar. Tomorrow we are going to talk or discuss to you about the what a bundle branch block. It is a bit difficult. It is a bit difficult, the bundle branch block.